Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, because all of those things really help my channel. If you really like it, please share it, because that's how it gets out to other people. If you share and it helps my YouTube ch channel, it helps the algorithm of YouTube, and I really would appreciate it. So thank you in advance for that. And so today is quick and easy day and we are making this sweet little gingerbread treat box. I'm not even sure how many candies will fit in here. I think it'd fit three or four Hershey's Kisses. Um, we're gonna see when we do the other one. I didn't put them in here and I didn't wanna untie it and everything to um, <laughs> redo it. On the top here, I put a little candy cane, and these are actually ones that I made myself out of photopolymer clay, and I'll link the video in the in the description because I did make a bunch of little candies and some candy canes with it that I'm going to be using for some other projects, but isn't it cute? I love this bundle. This bundle is the Handmade Wishes, so it's this one right here. We're using this stamp here we're using the Mary the gingerbread we're using these little um, holly and then this is the punch that goes with it I can't remember the name of it but I'll put it in the description here so that these come together as a bundle and you save 10% with the bundle for those of you who are new to stamping up and then I'm using for the Christmas I'm using the Merry Christmas from the peaceful deer you can use whatever Christmas you have this is the one that fit better for this. I wanted to use the large one that's in here, but it didn't fit on this. So I'm using this little Christmas right there. All right, and then you're using crumb cake is what I'm using for this part. We are going to be embossing this little edge. So let's go ahead and get started with this. It's really an easy one to do. So I need a piece that we are gonna stamp on. We're using Versamark. And when you do this, make sure you look to see which way this is um, punching because the last one I did, I had them turn this way and I had to cut a bunch. And so we are going to be stamping these the way that they punch. I always try to pay attention to that, but for some reason I missed it. Let me get my embossing buddy here and make sure we get this nice and clear. This helps to get all the static and all the, keeps the embossing powder where it needs to be. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp this. And we're gonna do two, because we need two for this box. Make sure you get enough Versamark on it. And then we are going to use our white emboss here. And I am going to just pour this over the top. out of the way and I'm going to get my heat tool and we are going to heat this and emboss it. Okay, so that is all embossed. Isn't it pretty? I love this embossing. I got to grab my little Swiffer. This helps get all that embossing powder off of your work surface. I hate that little gritty feeling. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna punch these out. All right, now we are gonna start stamping these. So we're only stamping the front one, but you can definitely stamp the back if you want to. So first thing I'm going to do is stamp the Mary. And we're going to stop. Let's see. I think I need to do it this way. Yeah, I'm doing it this way. Whew, I almost did it wrong. So we're going to do the Mary. 
and then we're gonna do the Christmas and we're only inking up the Christmas right here and you can do this just by on the edge if you don't feel like you can do it just mask it mask your Y on here and um, this is gonna go on the bottom this has a bit of space between it so it's a little bit easier to do it that way all right so now let's do our gingerbread we're using soft suede so our colors today are real red shaded spruce and soft suede and we're going to do our little gingerbread he's so cute oh my gosh i love him i'm going to be using him a lot i can tell he goes in the middle and then we're going to use the shaded spruce for the little holly There's a Christmas tree on this one as well. And you could put it on the, the Christmas tree in the center. And there's our little front. Isn't that cute? I'll bring it up there so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to add a real, uh, real red rhinestone here. You don't even have to, I think it looks just fine like that, but I'm going to add the little bear, like a little berry on this. Just like that. And then these two pieces are ready to go, so let's put our box together. The box is super easy. It's four and a half by four and a half. I'm just going to bring my trimmer up here. And you're going to score it at four, or you're going to score it at one and a half on all four sides. So just score it at one and a half. And that is it. All right, so to cut this now, we are gonna just cut down here. And what I do on a box like this, I'll just cut it like this in half or a little bit less than half. And then these are going to be our glue tabs here. It just cuts down on the bulk of this box. And we're going to do the same on this end. all ready to go okay so now what we're gonna do is we are going I'm gonna take my trimmer again and actually you don't even need the trimmer for this part I'm gonna use my ruler instead so what we're gonna do with this now is we are going to mark the top it doesn't matter which side you do and you're just gonna mark it at three quarter inches on here so just put a little mark there and then you're going to just score from that point to this corner. I'm going to do this on both ends. It's just going to make it fold a little easier. So three quarter inches, just mark that top part because that's halfway and then to the corner. But make sure you do it on the opposite side if you do it on here do it on the opposite side all right so now let's sharpen all these and you can even take these and just kind of loosen up the fiber in the cardstock it'll make it easier when you fold it where you just scored all right now we're going to put this together i'm using stamp and seal plus so we're going to Make sure you use something strong. Don't use the regular seal. It will not last very long. Like if you're making these ahead for Christmas, um, don't use seal. It will, not, it will not stay together for you. Okay, we're gonna line these all up. All 
All right. And then these are going to fold this way. Now, you want to make sure one thing, that your front is going to be going this way, so that you, when you fold that in, it goes the right way. So I'm going to use wet glue this time. We're going to add our front and our back. I really need to refill this. So make sure it's nice and straight on there. And then you're just going to put the other one on the opposite side. I don't know if my tip is needs to be cleaned out or if I think I'm it's both. <laughs> I think it needs to be cleaned out and I need to refill it. All right. So I just make sure these kind of meet in the middle. It's not critical, but it does look nicer if they meet in the middle. Okay, I'm using a little tiny eighth inch hole punch. We don't carry this one anymore, and I'm gonna just punch a hole in the top here. And I'm using, again, this Real Red and Garden Green combo pack. It's real um, 3 8 inch ribbon. But you can use whatever you like. I just love the real red on this one because it just goes so good. I'm string that through. You don't need a whole lot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm using my, again, red and white. I put this in the description in my video where I got this because I've had people ask um, where I got it and so I'm going to just tie a bow here tie a knot actually first right here and then we'll tie a bow I didn't really need that much on it you can make the bow as big or as little as you like oh I didn't Let's undo this because I want to show you what fits in it, how how many um, Hershey's Kisses fit in there. Let's take this out so I don't mess it up. All right, let's see how many fit in here. I think three. I think three is going to be, be it. Yeah, you can put three in there. I need to make a point on this one again. Three is the max, but you can put like little bag of M&Ms, like the little, um, put it in a little cello bag and put some M&Ms in here, or just drop the M&Ms in here. I just like putting them in a bag, and you could find, use those three by eight bags that I shared the other day, and just cut it shorter, put some M&Ms in there, or some Skittles, anything like that. Let's turn this around. I always, if I need another hand when I do this, I know a lot of people always tell me use a clip, but I never have one handy. And usually when I do this, I do it on my lap so I can kind of hold it in place. All right, let's get that bow tied now. And then I'm going to trim these. And I need to clean up the edges of this ribbon. I don't like it looking frayed. Like that. All right, so there you have it. It's all done. Now, I did make quite a few little candy canes. So, like, they're like that. I made all different kinds. Um, 
but I'm just going to use this one and add it to the front of it with a glue dot. I just think it kind of added something to it. It's really cute. I'm just going to stick it on like that. And there you have it. That's it. And here's the other one. I actually used the thinner one on here. I think I'm going to use the thinner one on this one too that I used. I like the smaller one a little bit better on there. So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, all the supplies for this project are always on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. There's an instant inspiration sheet for the measurements and there's a lot of information on my blog so check it out. All right everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later everyone. Bye.